All right, welcome to a very good morning indeed. You might notice that I'm not in my usual clinical attire, and that is because I won't be the one working today. Instead, we're going to be shadowing someone a little bit more interesting. Enter Dr. Borsiello, a registrar that's training in the field of oral and maxillofacial pathology, who along with some other members of the department, graciously let me follow them around with a camera for the day. To be honest, despite all the hours of studying for oral pathology exams, I'm not quite sure what it is that an oral pathologist actually does. So this will kind of be a learning experience for all of us today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so the morning starts in the lab. Typically, when biopsies get sent in, the first order of business includes providing some general descriptions and taking some basic measurements of the specimens so that the pathologist has that on record before the specimens get sliced up for microscope viewing. After the initial specimen admin is done, these specimens then go through a process that converts them into microscope slides. On this particular day, while all of this was happening, the oral and maxillofacial pathology department needed to do something known as a frozen section procedure. Essentially, this usually happens when surgeons are trying to determine the extent of tumor spread in a patient during surgery. So the surgeons will take a biopsy and send it up to the lab, whereupon the lab will then do a very rapid form of specimen processing, essentially just freezing the sample specimen to fix everything in place before making sections of it. and immediately putting it under a microscope so that the pathologist can have a look at the tissues and advise the surgeons on how to proceed. After a morning in the lab, it's then over to the office where it's time to work through some cases. The number of cases that are done on a daily basis can vary quite a bit, and on top of that, not all cases are created equal, with some being vastly more complex than others. So sometimes cases can be done in an afternoon, while other times they may need a lot of extra time so that the specimens can be sent for additional kinds of tests. As part of the training process, a registrar like Dr. Boschiello will usually do full workups of a few cases before those cases then get presented to the department's oral and maxillofacial pathology consultants. This usually involves everyone having a look at the microscope slides, the x-rays and the clinical history provided to ensure that there is a consensus on each diagnosis given before the full reports are then finished and sent back to the clinicians and the patients. Thank you. 
While I was there, I also had a chat with Dr. Borsiello about her experiences in oral and maxillofacial pathology, and these were some snippets that I really appreciated and wanted to end things off on. Histology forms such an important part of pathology, and every day I get to learn new things, and that that for me is interesting. It's mm. really it's mind blowing. I yeah. mean, I can't stop saying that every time I see a new case, and it's still the same old diagnosis. It's mind blowing because it's it it, it really makes sense. It just makes mm. sense. Sometimes I don't know. Remember, you're a registrar. You're being trained, so sometimes you don't know. You're gonna say, I don't know. <laughs> What I've learned from 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 the, the Dr. Robinson, the most recently qualified um, consultant, when he was a registrar, whenever he was asked a question and he didn't know, he said he didn't know. Don't waste time trying to ca- crack your head about things you don't have a clue about. So the nice thing about it is that you're able to say you don't know and they teach you. I, I guess the interest comes in just seeing everything build up as mm. the cl- from the clinical to the macro, to the micro, and finally coming up with a diagnosis and not necessarily just studying it and trying to understand it in 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 in, you know in isolation Mm. so is that fulfillment of seeing a puzzle just a complete puzzle just click into place yes so having to still do what we did in undergrad but now having the histology for me was like every day i get to do a puzzle and at the end of the day even if it takes long the puzzle comes together and that for me is 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 for is is fulfilling Mm. it's it's really interesting and i think also at the end of the day i think when you start looking back and thinking that um the surgeon now has an answer and they're able to now know how to manage a patient for me that also is important Mm. because most of the times people think we just look at a slide and we forget there's a person behind it Mm. we actually know there's a person behind that slide and we also value that so much that when we actually get to an answer we already know that somebody's going to get closure Mm.